Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Brianna and I'm a Korean freshman studying at the University of Pennsylvania. I know that in the past couple of days, many of the early decision results of your application to American universities have come out and a huge congratulations to all of you who got into your dream schools and for those who were deferred or rejected by your um, ED school, please do not be disgruntled, please do not. Um, lose your confidence and lose your faith because personally I was not accepted into my ED school either during my last year of application and um, going through the entire application cycle not only in the early decision round but also going into RD was like making the entire experience more fulfilling and it gives you a full like feel of what the application season would look like and in this video I would like to talk about how to build your RD application school lists for those who are not accepted into the ED school and that could be a daunting process looking at the prospect right now because I know that uh, many of the application deadlines are actually coming quite pretty soon um, immediately after the result of your ED decisions but still like be encouraged be motivated you still have a couple of weeks to finish up on all of your applications and I hope that what I have to say later in this video will be helpful in like finalizing your school list and all right so yeah let's get into the video a quick disclaimer before we actually start talking about anything serious. I myself am somebody that went through the experience application cycle last year and that in no way means that I am an expert in college application process and like preparing for um, school essays, choosing our perfect schools. But I guess in the following couple of minutes, I'm just gonna share what I think from a personal ex perspective and please do take everything with a grain of salt. So the first suggestion that I want to give is to balance your reach schools, match schools, and safety schools. I believe these terms are not unfamiliar to all of you, and you may all have heard about it or like be very familiar with all of these terms from your college counselor, from your own school research. So basically, I believe that when you're building your RD school list, you should really balance out the like the proportion between three of these categories so that they're approximately in a normal distribution. By that, I mean the majority of, it, of the schools that you're applying to should fall within the match school category. And there are a couple of um, reach schools that, you, that you're applying for and a couple of other like safety schools. So for me, I personally believe that this like um, normal distribution should be slightly skewed because um, you only you don't need a lot of the like safety schools instead i feel like um you could have just one or two safety schools that you're pretty sure um you may be able to get into and the rest of the um schools you can allocate that these uh spots to some of the higher ranked or like better universities i suppose um and then that's a way you can like balance it out and in terms of balancing i would say that for the safety schools that you're applying to, these schools are in no way bad schools. Instead, like as my counselor used to tell me, these safety schools are really the schools that you should love. Like even if you don't get into any of your um, match schools or dream schools, uh, like reach schools, you should still be very happy to go to the safety schools that you're applying for. And then. Um, when you're deciding like which category the school that you're looking at falls into, I would suggest taking a look at the average um, standardized testing scores of this school's incoming students. For example, the um, median of the SAT score of all of the admitted students, and then compare your personal like compare your own stats with the stats listed on the school's official website. And that way you can have a clear sense of like what you might be um, in a position in terms of all of the application pool. And that way you can decide like which category you could put the school into. Additionally, if like the time wise, it's very limited and you're really under a rush, I would really prioritize the application to your match schools instead of like your um, reach or safety schools. As long as you have one or two safety schools done, you can like really put your emphasis on all of the match schools that you have because those are the schools that you're very really likely end up going to. And yeah, that's some small tip that I will give to you, I guess. The second tip is that you should um, 
to some degree consider the same school competition. By that I mean consider who else in your high school is applying to the same school that you really want to apply to or like you really want to go to. But at the same time, you should really not worry too much about it. The third tip that I want to give is that you should consider the historical acceptance rates of um, of a particular college at your high school, but still do not focus too much on that. But that, like, I mean, some colleges, it is like very natural for certain schools to have a closer relationship with their high schools. They may be off, um, giving many offers at your high school at each year compared to some of the other schools that may not be like as friendly with your high school as the others. So you can really consider this if you want to increase the likelihood of getting into um, some of your match schools, for example. You could consider like adding one or two schools that are known to be friendly with your own high school. Of course, do not be alarmed. Do not be overly alarmed if a certain college is like the historical acceptance rate at your high school is not that high because um, speaking from my own experience, I know that um, we had a senior in our high school um, like who applied to Brown University in her early decision round and prior to that um, like historically Brown didn't give a lot of offers to our school so like even though this was taken into account she liked the school so much that she still ended up applying and she got into the school so like this really shows even though you should consider the historical acceptance acceptance rates you shouldn't really fixate too much on that and I would say that because especially we're going into the regular decision round, um, when you're considering which schools you want to apply to, especially like the top schools, you also want to take into account like the acceptance situation in the early decision round. Because um, I know that in my high school, usually there would be one acceptance into Stanford per year. And so like if my high school, we have someone who got into Stanford in the early round, I would know that the likelihood of me getting into Stanford again, like as the second student of the year and the regular decision round would be much less than if like nobody was like, accepted to Stanford in the early decision round. And the next tip that I want to give is that many schools, as we know, they have different kinds of priority deadlines for either like scholarship applications, for submission of art portfolios, or for like priority interviews. You should take these into account when you're making your school lists because um, I know that, for example, at the time when I applied to Duke University, they had um, a relatively early deadline for um, an applicant to receive an alumni interview and I was able to catch that deadline but for some of the students for some of you it may be a little bit difficult because of the time frame because of the um, limited time you have so yeah take these into account when you're deciding which schools you want to apply to and especially when there's like scholarships I know that could be a huge weighing factor for many of the students applying to colleges and the next tip is that you should consider your admission results and the schools that you're applying for in other countries or like in your early action round. I know that many of us would apply to a couple of safety schools as our EA schools. And depending on the school that you apply to, you may already have the admission decision to you by the time you submit your regular decision application. So like if your early action school gave gives you an offer and like the school counts as a safety school that you really want to go into, you can really focus more on the um, match and reach schools in the regular decision route instead of writing more and more like safety school applications. And um, there's also the factor of applying to other countries because for me as an international student, I apply to both American colleges and schools in the UK. So um, at the time when I was applying, like even though I was not accepted into my ED school, I knew that I also have applications submitted to like the UK schools. So um, with that, I was able to slightly adjust my um, RD school list so that like I take into consideration both the US schools and the UK schools that I was applying for. And the next tip that I want to give is to look at the vibe of the school when you're applying. 
um, and try to like have a couple of the schools that have a similar vibe to you so that they slightly increase the likelihood of you getting in. So what I mean by that is I know that there are certain schools that like have the reputation of looking for strong um, academic performances in their um, in their applicants and if you're someone who is very strong in your academics but potentially like less strong in your extracurriculars you could like dedicate a certain um, number of spots of on your RD list to these schools that actually like fit you that they're actually looking for students like you so yeah and there are also apparently there are also schools who really look for students um dedicated to community service looking for students with talents in arts and different kinds of like specialties so make sure you like try to get a gouge of the things that each school might be looking for and align yourself with the schools that like are similar to your own persona and potentially you would be able to um, have a higher chance of acceptance. Yeah, I feel like those are all of the tips that I want to give for um, all of you who are considering your um, regular decision school lists. And I know that the upcoming few weeks can be very, very stressful, um, but don't worry, you'll get through it. And I feel like throughout the process, as you write more and more applications to different schools, you would really have a better sense of like who you are and how like um, your application to a certain school may look like and yeah throughout the entire application cycle you would really get to know yourself a lot more compared with like um, before you started the application season and yeah best of luck to everyone who is like going through this this entire process and again congratulations to all of you who have gotten into your dream school in the early round and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye